What's up everyone, it's BKels here, and in this video we're going to go over the vendor uh, for artifacts, the feats from artifacts, um, what type of nth metal come from artifacts, and the amount of components you get from the vault. Um, I'd show you what you get from the stabilizer event, but it's not on here, or on test server, so I can't really show you that. So, John Constantine, which is the guy for the vendor, is in the middle of the watchtower, pretty easy to find. Um, so he sells all the artifacts, which I'll show you in a second, and some experience, in my opinion, not really worth it. 25 marks for 10 experience is almost nothing, so not really worth it, in my opinion. So uh, since I already have all the artifacts, he doesn't have them in there, but um, if we delete one, say this one right here, we can go back and repurchase it, and it's 100 marks of victory. Um, for each one and you you can buy all of them for a hundred marks of victory So that's pretty much the vendor nothing too complicated Let's head over to feats now. So for feats we have um, Go to general and it'll be under artifacts and it adds like seven more skill points to the game But they're not like skill points that are easy to get um, they're definitely more like Legends PvE where it'll take a decent amount of time to get. So Flawless Nth Metal, which is the highest type of Nth Metal you can get. A coping Artifact, Artifact of 20, Collecting each type of Nth Metal. Uh, collecting a certain number or p number of pieces of Nth Metal, which is the feat that stacks on and on for pretty much ever. Uh, artifact of 60, or 40, 60, 80, and 100. 100 is the max right now. And as you can see, you have a bunch of feats for collecting Nth Metal up to 10,000 which uh, should take you a while but there's a definitely a decent amount of additional feats so let's head over to our nth metal um, as you can see here nth metal um, you have 10 experience 20 experience 50 experience 100 200 500 thousand is going to be the best one you can get and uh, you'll get these from just playing the game um, the vault and the stabilizer event give you specific amounts, which if we head over to that real quick, we can see Artifact Fuel uh, gives you Nth Metal, and there's a weekly bonus for going, which gives you a decent amount more than the daily amount. Um, from what I've seen, the daily amount gave me 120, I think, the first time, so we're just going to run to the last box in here. Um, because it's just in the same box as the mark of victory that you get from the vault. So we head back to the back of the vault and hit this last present, and we can see you get. Oh, I think it's one one forty again. So yeah, it looks like you get the same amount per day. Um, you get one forty from going to the vault. I think it's an additional like two hundred for the weekly. Don't quote me on that because I already did it and I don't remember how much it was. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm going to do another video on each artifact tomorrow and in two days I'll tell you or kind of have a chart of how much experience you're going to need to get to each level, which will be pretty cool. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.